Hi guys, Pete here from Climbing Frame Solo again. Um, project today. Well, it's actually the last, I don't know, few couple of weeks it's been lined up. Anyway, this is a little putting green. It's already covered in the bits, AstroTurf around the outside, railway sleepers. Nice big patio. New fencing, this is all AstroTurf. And then the Dunster House Max at the bottom is normally what you'd be looking at with us rather than anything else. But if you're looking at gardens, look at that. Anyway, Dunster House Max, um, I think it's Fort Max or something like that. I need to learn a lesson of this. Uh, built in telescope, steering wheel, um, pirate's flag. Is an extra, got the crow's nest on there as well. I'll just hook that up, put the extra swings down here. It's all gone in okay. It's just, there's a few bits with these frames. I think it's because they're still new. Um, however much you're drilling stuff out again, you've got the fence panels at the top, going through the process. They're at the bottom. This is on AstroTurf, so what we've done is just anchored the pegs into the AstroTurf. Um, these only got a young kid, so this isn't concreted or done anything else. These aren't the Dunster pegs as well. These are literally a little bit longer. They're serrated, so they actually grip on stuff rather than the polished or, or shiny one that the Dunster team have. And we didn't want to cut open the AstroTurf, so we've just tried to. It's basically like a long rebar. It's, it's about 45, 50 centimetres long, and it's chucked in from there. Um, and it's all gone through. Lots of things with the with this frame, so... The bolts that are coming in up here, for example, are actually seemingly about five mil too short. Um, it just doesn't, it's not ideal. Nothing kind of joins properly. The uh, rock walls, uh, I don't know, most of them went in today. The last two or three of these maxi forts that we've done, um, or maxes, uh, the, getting the rock wall in has been pretty difficult because it doesn't seem like the actual bolts to go through here actually long enough to actually meet the tea nuts you're grinding out the wood and the wood is so thin as well it's, it's a little bit thicker than it was but it just doesn't give you much to grab hold of so when you drill through it just explodes every single one all the way down it just looks really really a little bit piss poor brand new drill used on that one to try and get away with that and it's still just as it goes through it's just exploding uh, monkey bars are built <laughs> Just so you're aware as well, this gentleman's all measured up and etc. But he wasn't aware that the swings came off the actual back leg or the, you know, off the back side. So obviously you need to leave enough space to be able to get around it and a couple of meters off the fence, etc. So he's measured it there. It's only a couple of feet forward from where he wanted. But obviously when you're measuring everything up, that couple of foot, that slide should almost be on the end. Even if we move it back, it's like I could have got it there, but then when you swing, it's going to be touching there. If it was coming off the middle of the swing, it would just have enough space, so the slide was just in line with that last patio slab. It's just little bits and pieces that people aren't aware of. I guess once these keep getting sold and they're going out, they're going to go. Again, this monkey bar, if you've got small kids, um, this monkey bar is probably 240 off the floor. So two meters 40. So measure your children with their arms up in the air and work out the drop height from monkey barring along to dropping down. Uh, so much better though, because it's higher, you've got a bigger entrance, so you're not having to cramp in. Lots of kids are falling backwards out of these before um, with the old style. So, you know, twos and threes. Again, this is massively, massively stronger than, than all the old sets. So something's been going on. Support braces all over the shot in this one. Everything's clad up. I built a squirrel fort the other day, one of their smaller frames, literally a few hundred quid. That whole thing was all clad up as well um, with support braces behind it. Unheard of. It was always it was always a bit of a wobble situation with these. We had a lot of remedial work off the side of it to go back and repair them a year or two afterwards. Um, hope that is a nice enough little, little review. Basically, there's a lot of screws on this set. So everything's just screwed through. It doesn't like, there seems to be less bolts. So the bolts go through and just hold the floor, which is fine. Bolts are holding the top of the swing. Extra brace across here, which is bolted. And almost every single other part on the play frame is screw, 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 screw. 
So it's, it's fine, it goes together and it does what it needs to do. Obviously all the main parts have got their bolts in, everything else is screwed, but I don't know. Again, it, there's, there's bits that could be done a lot neater in my eyes. Um, but there you go. So most of this wood is just over eight mil. Like the actual thickness of there. Um, the slide's got all sorts of weird stuff going on. He keeps telling you to put this weird wood in and screw it in, but it doesn't seem to do much. But it is what it is. So that is the dumpster house. Uh, balcony max I believe as I say I will I will clarify this when I start posting it up um, I hope that's a good enough view this is really not an ideal one on it for somebody that is not very good at DIY if you do want it installed then let us know before you start it ideally because it could go very wrong very quickly um, I think it's the third or fourth one I've built now over the last couple of weeks even then I'm still looking back at the instructions working out what's going on uh, you know the bolt sizes are not ideal as I say some of them especially up here Are really not popping out properly um, So you're having to grind away the wood and sand it down and try and do stuff to be able to get the washers on and actually tighten it up For what you actually need to do um, Other than that everything's drilled out so These all have to get drilled the floor is all loose now that used to be a solid structure the roof is all loose, that used to be solid, so you used to just get two panels for the roof panels each and then link that up. Um, the floor, as I say, used to be one solid panel. This cladding is screwing into the legs. The cladding on the sides actually has top and bottom bars. I personally screw these bars in first and then I put the actual balustrade sections in because you never know actually how straight stuff is. If your garden is like this and completely like finished up properly, you know, proper people doing a proper job rather than just chucking money at the problem or your garden's a little bit sloping you're not going to be able to build those off the on the you know without putting them on the place set first let's be honest no one's garden is completely like this so you know if you're going to do it go in properly and we as a company can help you do that um give us a shout it's climbing frame installer .co.uk that's climbing frame installer .co.uk um, if you want any groundwork some of the bits and pieces done again mostly doing climbing frames but this time of year kind of winter or end of summer then we do dabble and do other stuff which I'm mean, not being funny there's been lots of jobs that I've seen that have had a lot more mess and are done by professionals that's cool them so give us a shout um, we can go from there. Thank you very much.